Thank you very much. So let's start with one. Uh, for research industry collaboration and what are the key actions needed in terms of providing research infrastructure capacity and services needed by industry so there are several suggestions legal framework business models quality assurance user support uh, I don't feel myself very much competent in that. <laughs> you are <not> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you see, in the previous session, I had my personal experience and views and uh, to share something here. I have only difficulties to understand the whole stuff. May I ask you to start? If there is someone who does not know, Hossein, okay. this um, is our new chair. Boy, come in. Nobody is perfect. Okay, thank you very much. So yes, I'm Jose Luis Martinez, but let's say with this kind of approach, I think maybe it's interesting that was really working at French director of the Institut Lauel Angevin, who is one of the research infrastructure. And also I was participating how heavily from the Spanish side in the ESS European project. So from that point of view, even ESS is under construction, it's not running, but ILL, and I was really very close to the European synchrotron. Well, respect to this question, to me, let's say when I was, I have a, another hat, manager of the ILL, so one research in, uh, infrastructure, I will say the, say the problem we have, or the, what I can really, well, problem, they are no problem, they are only opportunities. But the opportunity there that was really f difficult to catch was that the approach that we have, at least in the infrastructure I was participating from the industry, was always short term. I have this problem, please give me whatever, measure, give me, analyze the data, give me how to solve the problem, and that's it. And of course, I, I think some of the things you mentioned there, for instance, user support, you can prepare a user support quite strongly in the research infrastructure, but not if you have one experiment like that every three years. So it's very difficult. So I will say my first, just to let's say the start the discussion, is we, I mean, I, we were not able at that moment to have long-term commitment of the industry to participate in this industrial research. It was only case by case, short time, only one experiment. I want to know this problem. Please give me a, a whatever happened, doing experiment with your tool, synchrotron, neutron, and whatever. I solved my problem, okay, goodbye, next. And the, so very short and very, let's say, very few times along the, say, period of 10 years. In that frame, it's very difficult, I repeat myself, to have user support, even quality assurance. So I, I will not go to the ISO, whatever, 13,000 in order to have one experiment every three years. So that will be, say, my, in my case, in my, in my case, I will say, ILL or Singleton, there are no legal framework program, no business model in the sense, well, there's business model problems, there's only one every, but this is short-term experiment only, let's say problem solving problem, not really, I mean, from the point of view of the user facility, you want to have something minimum, minimum mid-term, not really focused. Uh, uh, may I just continue that? Uh, I, I agree, it sounds very convincing, but on the other side, I doubt personally that industry would like to have a long-term cooperation with the same research infrastructure because that's industrial life is different. They compete with each other. They are looking for things which should be solved yesterday. 
not tomorrow. So this is a particular case. I don't know, for instance, in other research facilities related with the environment or satellite observation, that could be totally different. And that, so after all, the other message is there are no one problem with one solution. There are many problems with many different research infrastructure with many different possible solutions. But in the particular case of this kind of analytical facilities <coughs> who really could work very close to industry who produce things, the problem is there, at least was my experience. So what you would suggest as a key action needed to somehow to teach industry, how to build, because that I don't know because Anyone? I mean <laughs> no idea uh, what key actions I would to educate the industry I mean, uh, the industry has a main goal which is really very yeah. good is to make money <laughs> make profit okay. so <laughs> yeah. I can talk to you for example I mean because you were mentioning before that possibly for uh, research infrastructure in other domains might be different. For example, for infrastructures in the environmental domain is definitely different because we, I mean, I see here legal framework, business models, quality insurance, euro support, nothing about ethical issues. So a, a research infrastructure with uh, um, dealing with the environment uh, might have ethical issues like in cooperating health. with the industry because, uh, I mean, the industry most of the time, not all the industries, but most of the industries, they, they don't pay too much attention to the, to the environment. I'm, I'm talking about, you know, industry um, for uh, looking for uh, fossils, uh, carburants and, and stuff like that. And, and sometimes we are really, I mean, the, 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 the research infrastructure should really stay on the other side. Okay, yeah, let's uh, cooperate with them, but uh, uh, it's, it's not easy they might not be so available uh, about cooperating with us because uh, yes, most of the time uh, we, we, we tell them, look, what you are doing is, is absolutely wrong, is against the protection of the environment, and this is our mission. I mean, uh, it's, it's uh, to do excellent science, to protect the environment, and uh, so for for this kind of research, for our research infrastructure, there, is, there are also the ethical uh, issues. And then I, I fully agree with, uh, with Cosset yeah. um, that uh, um, they are mostly interested in short time, uh, but even sometimes bilateral collaboration. So they are more keen to interact with uh, a single researcher, or a single national research organization, so more than with uh, research infrastructures because uh, indeed we are missing the legal framework, uh, you know, a business model, whereas it's much easier, much faster, much, uh, you know, you, you solve the issue much uh, uh, faster if you just interact with one person, one team, yeah, thank you very much. Please pass the mic. Uh, yeah, uh, also um, time uh, is cost for uh, private sector. So maybe, you know, to use research infrastructure uh, implies also some uh, uh, time uh, investment. But also, you know, I come from the SSH uh, uh, side, so social sciences, humanities uh, and heritage science. So it's very difficult to, to sell something to the private sector. So I can, uh, maybe I can find uh, some uh, specific uh, joint uh, project in common uh, with uh, the private sector, but at the same time, it's very difficult uh, to create a market for my research infrastructure that uh, in which uh, a um, uh, private sector could be uh, interested. And uh, I think that uh, th this is uh, particularly true uh, for uh, other research infrastructures uh, working in the sector of uh, social and cultural innovation, such as, for instance, Daria, Clarin. So they produce data, data for uh, the humanities. It's true that uh, this data could be used by maybe uh, 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 cultural and creative uh, industries uh, to uh, create new content, uh, new knowledge, but uh, 
at this time, my question is, uh, if we are going uh, towards uh, the open science and open data, how I can sell data to a private sector in order to generate market? So, I mean, I, I don't have uh, any solution here. Maybe uh, for replying to your question about uh, uh, if we have some idea on how to be engaged with uh, the private sector, maybe on specific project. Yeah. Just, specific just project, hold on, yeah. uh, hold on. Uh, please because open sec uh, question ah, the, the, two. The, the next question. Or just teach me because you you started actually to talk about uh, specific actions. So, for instance, according to me, because uh, I mean I'm not aware of any definition about uh, technological infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. Any, I mean, so do, it's, uh, do you know this? Okay. No, do you, you know? Do you know the definition? No, 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 no. no because uh, for me, for me, I mean, uh, I, I work. I, I'm from the National Research Council of Italy. So, if uh, I have uh, to think of uh, a technological infrastructure from the National Research Council, uh, what I think is, uh, for instance, a spin-off. So you do research, you, uh, you have a patent, you have uh, a very good result, and on the basis of this very good result, you maybe can uh, establish a private sector based on this patent. So it's a, it's a spin-off of a research laboratory. So according to me, the first time I've seen a technological infrastructure, I thought, so maybe IRIS, IRIS, European Research Infrastructure for Heritage Science, maybe IRIS could create a spin-off from what it does as research by maybe providing indeed some uh, data, contents to the cultural creative industries uh, sector. And this is why, at that moment, I looked at the KIC, European Institute of Innovation and Technology, uh, Knowledge and Innovation Community. So cultural creative sectors uh, operating in the market, in the economic market. But uh, it was not easy at all. I mean, we are involved in the KIC, cultural creative sector, but uh, it's a totally different uh, uh, field. And it's, we don't talk even the same language. So we don't understand each other. And this is very difficult. It's something that you know, we should take uh, into, into account. But first of all, the definition. So the definition is uh, a spin-off of uh, uh, so a market, uh, because uh, you know, this could help us. Someone would, but you, you really goes to the directly to the core of the <laughs> of the pro, in, uh, the target. On the, in my opinion, so to me, the main I have the same question: What is really a technical uh, infrastructure? I don't know. Uh, I, I only can say that. Uh, but People here really has even more experience than me in S3. S3 spent quite a lot of time in 2014, 2016 with Giorgio Rossi, Jan Husa, tried to have a very good definition, a very precise definition of research infrastructure with clear definition. Later, the different type, site, multi-site, distributed. What is really, what kind of parameters have to fulfill a research infrastructure of every type, I would say, because of course a national research infrastructure could be whatever uh, the, the country want to, to apply, but just to be energy. So to me, this exercise is uh, still missing in technical, technological infrastructure, or at least I'm not aware. I know that the commission is working on that with some groups, so maybe we will see the result, but Sorry, I'm not aware or a very clear definition of technological infrastructure. To me, but it's just an opinion, <laughs> this is totally different from, different from one company can you create the, from a spin-off from the research. This is another business. No, nothing to do with technological infrastructure. The only can I said, I remember five or six is, of course, technological infrastructure, my, to my knowledge, it's also coming a little from a few groups in, from physicists, I would say, <laughs> sorry. So the idea behind 
at that moment, but I, I repeat, there are no definitions or could be everything. The idea was some laboratories, let's say, working in the top of the technology for the research infrastructure and thinking like platform like Saclay around Paris, working in very sophisticated detector of uh, superconducting cavities that later are used in different accelerators and so on. The problem they have in this kind of, let's say, uh, facility of this kind of laboratory so on, that they work very hard and develop something very, very sophisticated for one project so during the construction of LSC, during the construction of the, of the accelerator for ESS. And later, in 10 years' time, they are nothing. Uh, now so we should focus because we have only five minutes. Uh, no, don't be sorry, but they said only 25 minutes for everything. Uh, is this correct? You are not part. <laughs> but in summary, I think if you yeah. allow me just one okay. sentence. It's, it's completely right. We have to start with a clear definition of technological infrastructure. Otherwise, we are lost. Uh, may we have number three, uh, just uh, to uh, give Peter the chance to put a bullet point. Uh, I would say that uh, uh, both work program and uh, the framework program ten. Uh, should well defined first what is uh, technological infrastructure interaction with research infrastructure. I mean, not the definition per se, but what is the interaction which is expected? Because in physics we have uh, four and a half interactions, okay? And uh, we know that that's important to say what is the interaction. Uh, so, um, industry collaboration with research infrastructure, as far as you have put it together at the moment, uh, because it is short term, do you think that in the work program, 25-27, I would not suggest that for framework program 10, they should have a specific program for encouraging this uh, collaboration. Program means call for research or call for funding. Would you agree with such kind of suggestion that uh, the FP10 should have a specific focus or not at all? Yes, in a way, yes, if it is asked from the research infrastructures to be more and more involved in the innovation activity, to be activities, be, be more involved in the facilitating the industry cooperation. In this case, yes, because we see that there is more and more pressure coming towards us in, a, in, a, in a kind of expanding our activities in the research infrastructure to this direction. I, I would say yes, but I will put the point that I think was already expressed before, that very orient with some orientation, with some, let's say, delivery for the one, some of the societal uh, needs, I would say, for instance, yes, research infrastructure, industry collaboration, but in some specific thing, or batteries, or uh, let's say, clean water, or whatever. So with some target, let's say, at least idea or, or something that will be good because otherwise research infrastructure industrial collaboration is so vast, it's so difficult to. Yeah, just uh, I come back to the question too and uh, to the question three. In fact, uh, as, it's, I, as it has been, uh, no, no, it's okay for question three. Um, it has been uh, explained uh, in the plenary session uh, there is a, a project, a RETIFI project, uh, is uh, funded under the H Horizon Europe project. And as a, the main purpose of the RETIFI project is to, to, to define what is a technology infrastructure, because we know uh, all of us, uh, it could be pilot line, test bed, or ETB, or open innovation, uh, and uh, you mentioned the synergy of Malcycle, for instance. So we have so such a different uh, type of uh, infrastructures, and the idea is that uh, 
um, in contrary to, to research infrastructure, technology infrastructure are more uh, linked to the industry and to the industrial domain, in fact. And it's uh, completely different, I think, when we have to, to think about the governance at, uh, at uh, European level, we have S3 for research infrastructure, but probably it could be quite different uh, for technology infrastructure because it has to be linked with the development competitivity of, uh, of Europe, in fact. And in fact, I, I agree with you, the technology infrastructure are more linked to the pillar two, in fact, because it's uh, linked to the comp uh, European competitiveness and, and then excellence research, in fact. And um, so I think, and, okay, and, uh, the, and we try so to, to define what it is, and also we have to, as objective, to, to uh, understand what could be the complementarity or the synergy or the difference between RI and TI, and we look at, uh, but we look at it at different domain. And I think, in fact, we have also to look at the at complementarity a domain per domain, in fact, by by big uh, area, because you have some probably a different uh, approach or perspective uh, approach of industry uh, a domain by domain, in fact. Thank you so much. So we are late, but you have the floor. You want to complete? <laughs> well, I don't know if it's a really complete or if it's uh, out of uh, the scope. But um, about the industry. Um, how could we do more things with foundations also? I mean, uh, uh, is there something in the re regulation that hampers uh, the fact that they could take part somehow in the governance of the of the ERIC as long as they part a significant as they bring a significant significant part of the funding? So it's a it's a question. <laughs> I mean, a little bit in between in, in industry and sustainability. <laughs> Yeah, this is my question actually, because uh, in a sense the landscape analysis is uh, something like a geography, much more uh, than a process analysis. So it is quite, but if you have an idea, please give it to us. Uh, S3 landscape analysis mo is more linked to the scientific domain, uh, biology, environmental, physics, and so on. And uh, but it's not. Uh, but for industry, it's not uh, the purpose. The purpose is aeronautics, uh, by uh, pharma, pharma pharmacology, pharmacy, and so on. So it's quite uh, different, I think. So the landscape uh, is not the same, in fact, because uh, it's not so. It's not so uh, organized by scientific domain, but more by industrial area, in fact. And you have, the, in the aeronautics, the, the aeronautic research infrastructure, in fact, because uh, there are in a research infrastructure uh, <coughs> uh, um, roadmap, you have a, um, a dedicated, they, they do a landscape, it's a project, it's Ringo, and they look at how they, they collaborate with industry and uh, what is, uh, how it, it works and so on. So for me, it's quite different. The, the, uh, the perspective of the landscape is quite different. I completely agree with you that it's different from the sector to sector and that has to be a specific. But nevertheless, this is also, a landscape is a specific in the sense yeah. we divide it by areas. So again, I'm thinking for instance, semiconductor industry. We would like to have in Europe something like TSMC and one of the problems is related with lithography. We have a very strong company to make in lithography machine in Europe, but now we have to go further. But can apparently we need more power and more shorter wavelength in order to arrive to the shortest, let's say, uh, integrated circuit. So could be that will be a technological, uh, technological infrastructure and that could be into the landscape analysis, maybe, because one of the solution for that will be the free electron laser. 
So we replace the, the, the laser into the lithography machine, which ISM is really the leader in the world, by a free electron laser. That could be perfectly a, a technological industry. Okay. But this is very specific for semiconductors. Please. E-infrastructures, because, uh, um, okay, that's a disaster. <laughs> I'm computer prepared. Because, uh, for example, I mean, if we, in, 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 okay, we are an environmental infrastructure, but we are developing a code for uh, uh, data interoperability and integration. And uh, industry might be interested in such a code, but, and, and we indeed, in our infrastructure, we, we, we work together, scientists and uh, IT experts, so information and technology. So is actually our infrastructure, um, can be actually defined the technological infrastructure because we are putting together research and the are, in and understanding and you already yeah, okay. are serving. So, uh, okay, so, um, but, but, but again, so it's, it's really... I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. We yeah. have the same problem because we develop codes for various yeah. ocean models and whatever. Uh, so it's quite interesting. They give us too short time. Uh, uh, but uh, what? We should go there yeah, or what? No. Ah, okay. It's up to you. I think that you are part of the organizing committee <laughs> and I rely on you and you ask me and I don't know what to answer. So if you say that we can continue, please uh, read what you have. Uh, I will uh, bring the microphone here. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe we can uh, sum up, up some of the notes uh, which uh, will be conveyed to the, uh, to the other groups. Uh, regarding the first question, uh, the first question, uh, just correct me if I put it something wrong. Uh, I wrote that uh, industry is usually not <laughs> keen for a long-term cooperation. Uh, it's mainly focused on short-term uh, and bilateral dedicated specific projects. And therefore, it's difficult to cover such a cooperation in business plans, uh, quality assurance, or by user support. Okay. Uh, no, no, I, I will. <laughs> Just the next bullet point is ethical issues. <laughs> ethical issues needs to be solved before any industry cooperation is established. This is quite okay. And uh, open data for industry, how to offer them to any industrial partner? It's a question mark at the end. Okay, maybe we can uh, proceed to the second question. Uh, so I wrote, um <laughs> <laughs> what is really technology infrastructure? <laughs> a clear definition is a key point for better understanding of the topic and potential cooperation or synergy. Um, uh, research infrastructures could engage uh, with uh, KICS. Um, it's uh, KIC, as I'm Am I correct? Okay. Uh, to create market possibility, but a common understanding is crucial since both actors have different scopes of expertise. Is that correct? Do you want to add something else to this point? Okay, maybe we can proceed. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, regarding these um, Horizon Europe and FP7, uh, FP10 should have a specific focus on uh, research infrastructure and uh, technology infrastructure collaboration, but in specific targets, uh, e.g. batteries you have mentioned. Otherwise, it's too wide and could be diminished. Okay. I don't have any, f any other bullet points here. Ah, yeah. Give me a sec. Uh, that uh, this cooperation should be in pillar two.
Okay, lovely. And for the landscape analysis, uh, yeah, that's one. Um, <laughs> I just I just heard that um, as as uh, some of you have mentioned that uh, landscape analysis is mostly linked to the scientific domain, uh, not to the industrial needs. Uh, that this is a different perspective. Uh, but should I add that? Uh, Although it's a different perspective, it should be covered within uh, the specific scientific domains, or, but, or should I add Maybe some? Covered. Sorry. Maybe covered, Maybe covered. <laughs> or might be covered. If there are no more comments now, let's close this session and walk a bit, mm -hmm. 10 meters to the <laughs> other hall. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Thank you for your attendance. It, it was very, very nice to be together.